Hello everyone and welcome back to Hardly Bardly Plays Starbound Fracking Universe. So when we last left off we finished out um, scanning the important buildings and items at the Ark for Esther and we visited the science outpost and we got our mech. So we had a very busy last video. This time around we're going to head down to the moon and get some stuff for some fuel. And there's also some changes on some of these moons now. We actually have almost uh, other worlds in them. So there are actually biomes within some of the moons. So um, there's no telling what we're going to come across. So um, what we need to do first, I just realized, is that we need a breathing EPP. So in order to get one of those, we're going to go back to the science outpost. Okay, where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to think of the machine that we need for this. Um, so. This is build your own to use. Okay, so some of these we can't use, but some of these we can. So, I want to think you used to be able to use the machines here, but I guess we can't anymore, except for that uh, one furnace. So, it looks like we're gonna have to craft some of our own benches and such. So, let's take a look here. We'll need this, and we'll definitely need this, and maybe the machining table. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, not in there. Uh, here? Uh, let's see what we need. We have one workbench. We'll need an anvil. So for that we're going to need some iron bars. Let's see, do we have enough iron? Maybe. Let's go ahead and smelt all the gold and silver that we have in the gold and copper and all those bars that we need. Because we'll need them for something. So let's take a look. Oops, wrong one. Yes, we have enough for the anvil. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pick this machining table back up. We're not going to need it for now. And we're going to put down the anvil instead. So... Breathing EPPs are over here. And we're going to need glass, oxygen, and tungsten bars. Okay. So, let's take a look over here. Um, you. And there isn't even any there. So, that's not good. However, uh, let's see, um, I'm wanting to think, let me take a look, uh, we have plus 1100 to oxygen and a swim boost, so um, we can try going down to the moon and see if uh, we can make it without having a breathing EPP, I don't know how good that's going to go, but I haven't tried that with an Argonian character. Apparently, not, oh, okay, so we do have more oxygen, but we're going to run out at some point, so we're going to have to do this quickly, and we're looking for all the purple, and there's also a big Archeus ghost here that is going to come after you, and it, if it touches you, you're going to die. The closer it gets to you, the more life it drains. And your gravity is a lot less here, so you're going to kind of float around like that. And that is that thing. That is the big Urchius ghost I was telling you about. And the problem with that thing is, the longer you're on a moon, the faster that thing is going to get. So, even if you come back to a moon that you have been on before, it's going to get faster and faster and faster, and it's going to keep track of last time too, so if it was pretty fast last time, it's going to be even faster the next time you visit. 
So you basically just have to work as fast as you can. Um, if you have, if you can find the crystals, get them. If not, there's purple urchus fluid that you can gather. And if you get that, that's also good. It's not going to be as potent as the crystals are, but it's still good. So just grab all of it that you can. <laughs> and I'm just going to try to grab as many crystals as humanly possible. And let's see. It looks like, yeah, there's Talibrian crystals there that we can use for stuff. And my oxygen is getting lower and lower and lower. And it looks like we're about to go into another biome. So that's cool. So, oh look, there's stuff down there that we can steal. And I should leave before I run out of oxygen. And I can come back. So, since we don't have a breathing EPP, this would be a lot quicker. We'd have to grab some, come back, grab some, come back. Since we don't have... Any to leave, uh, I mean, any tungsten right now for a breathing EPP. Oh no, we still don't have that much oxygen. That's not cool. Probably should have waited on the ship until mine restored. Yeah, should have done that. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this stuff for fuel. So there's that. And there's Urchia's Fluid. And we're going to fuel. So we have 458. So that's going to come in handy. And, oh look, we have a reward bag. It's a tech card. Yay! Tech cards come in handy. For that little tech machine that was back there at the Ark. So while we're here, we're also going to get our contract. And put it out. And it looks like we have a little Apex red shirt. It says, Yeg, that's the name of this character, would like to join your crew as soldier. Invite Yeg aboard. Job soldier. Rank security innovation manager. Status, thinking of horrifying clowns. I don't know if they're thinking of going to horrify the clowns, or if they're thinking of clowns that are horrifying. Who knows? But we're going to hire them, and they're going to come along with us. And you can talk to them, and they'll be like, I'll stay here, or I'll come with you. And you can have plenty of crew members on your ship, but not all of them will be on your crew. Um, unless you hire them. And only a couple can come with you at a time. So we're going to beam back down now that our oxygen is back to normal. And we're going to go down as far as we can. See, even our little character, our little crew member is going to come with us. So we're going to just try to tunnel straight through if we can and get down to another biome to show you what the other world's going to be like that's inside of this moon. And apparently there is something that bit me. I don't know why it bit me. That wasn't very nice of it. Ah! It needs to go away and die! Yes, thank you. Shoot it. Yay. What is this? What is... Oh no, I'm buried in slime. Oh no, it's the Archeus ghost. And yes, that's uh, one thing that wasn't on moons before were enemies. And now there are. So, uh, that's the other thing that happens. Oh, what is this? What is this? This looks very interesting. I want whatever this is. What is that? Can I get that? No, come back here. Okay, I guess I can't get whatever that was. I'm thinking that's part of the background or something. Oh, looks like we're getting the ice blocks. We got some iron ore that's going to come in handy. And we landed in liquid nitrogen. That's not good. That's not good. We are going to die. We need to beam up. Oh my goodness. We came so close to dying right there. Oh goodness. Liquid nitrogen can be at the bottom of some moons now. Which means I'm going to slip and slide around for a little bit. Uh, but, okay. So, 
Let's go ahead and smelt some more iron bars since we have a bunch now. Uh, do we have anything for glass? No, we need sand for that. So, okay. And we can make an Argonian crafting table while we're at it, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see if we have room to put down our little Argonian crafting table. Uh, yeah, we're going to put it all the way up here in the front. So, these are uh, race-specific crafting tables and other special stations give you different items, different weapons that are specific to your character, um, different clothing, armor, uh, then there's different uh, little furnitures and blocks and such. And if you put these in a in a little building that you've got a colony deed in, they will bring a character that looks a lot like yours. They will bring a creature of the same race to live in it. So these are really cool. These look like caveman stuff. And I love it. I could make a whole colony of just Argonians and that would be awesome. So... That's what that looks like. Alright. So, let's see how much fuel we have so far. Do, 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 do. Alright, so, any more? Yep, we have like four more of those. Alright, so 590, which means we can go to other planets now. We not, might not be able to go really far, but we can go to other planets. So, let's see what all we have around here. A barren world? We can go to that. Uh, there's desert, gas, and forest world over here. And then there's another lush world up here. So, let's go ahead, since we're going to need some sand, let's go to the desert world. And what... The difference between some of these planets. Lush worlds are very easy worlds. The creatures on them are not that tough most of the time. Every now and then you'll run into cultists or something that are just random really bad baddies. But for the most part they're just very easy little planets to colonize. Um, desert planets have a heat issue so your character is going to get dried out there. But it looks like this desert has foreign creatures in it. So that's going to be a good place to go. And oops, I backed out of it. And another thing, we also have tungsten there. So that's going to come in handy for us as well. Let's take a look. Okay, apparently, as one of the weather patterns for this desert, it has torrential rain. So, I mean, you know, that happens in some deserts at certain times of the year. But still, it's kind of funny. Not what you would expect. Windstorms. Rainy lightning storms and sandstorms. And I backed out again. Bye. Okay. Gas giants will kill you. Um, let's see. This forest world has glitch settlement. So we also have snow, storms, drizzle, and rain there. And oh, let's go back in. I keep backing out by accident. And let's see. Climate threats low. Fauna threats low. The size is medium, gravity is normal, day length short. So this wouldn't be a too bad of a world to go ahead and head to. So we might be able to kill two birds with one stone, or three birds if you count getting tungsten, sand, and florin items. Now if I were you, what I would go into my crafting menu and do is if you have and uh, we don't have woven fabric. We're going to have to make a sewing machine. Or spinning wheel. Uh, sewing machine is the upgraded version of it. Anyway, we're going to have to make a spinning wheel. And we're going to take it over here. And we're going to set it down somewhere. Right there is good. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some woven fabric. We're going to make as much as we can. 
And let's go ahead and make some cotton wool since we can too. And we're going to go into our crafting menu and we can make... See, we have the copper bars. We're going to make flags. We can only make one now. But since we don't have teleporter cores to make teleporters yet, a flag will teleport you straight to a planet. You can't leave from the flag and go anywhere else like you could with a teleporter. But you can go back to your ship normally. But that's going to come in handy for us actually going to a settlement of some sort. Alright, so um, before we head down to the desert, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. So, thank you for joining me on the moon. And next time, in the next video, we will head down to this planet and try to find a foreign settlement and collect the items that we need. Alright, so if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as soon as they come out. Alright, thank you, and hardly barley, over and out.